I am pretty sure that some of you guys would like to know the jump shot I am using and the current jump shot that I am using right now is release 87. It doesn't cost any VC, it's free, release 87 with the quick release. Now I'm not going to make any promises telling you all that this will be my jump shot forever because it most likely won't. I think it won't be. I think I will change it soon and you will see why I'm thinking about changing it after you watch this video. But taking a look at some of these dunks, I'm loving it, man. I can't wait until Primetime Harris, Deshaun Primetime Harris starts dunking. I cannot wait, man. Them dunk packages, them dunk animations is looking beautiful. But 2K15 is amazing, man. All jokes aside, go grab this game if you haven't done so already. So you're the rookie that's gonna shock the world, huh? Sure as heck gonna try. Good, I'm glad you're here. Just remember, it's all out there for you. Work hard, listen, watch how we do, and you got a chance to be something special. Now let's see what you got. Thanks. I'm happy to be here, man. I'm pumped. Let's do it. Man, shout outs to 2K and all the developers that worked on this game. They did a amazing job on my career as a whole. Man, my career is amazing this year. It's a hundred, like I said, man, it's, it's way better than 2K14. Like, in any way possible you can think of, it is 10 times better than 2K14. If you, if you are debating on getting this game, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just just get the game. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. This game is A1. It's best, the best 2K so far. Yes, better than 2K11 in my opinion. And I am not the only one saying this. Check videos, check Twitter. I am not the only one saying this. I'm not BSing. Look at Andre cutting to the basket, laying it up with the left hand, giving your boy my first dime of my NBA career you know something like many more to come look at the signature size up crossover on Dion Waiters going in with the acrobatic layup finishing at the rim Anderson Carlito Virgil and LeBron James you can't stop prime time you just can't do it sir no sir and by the way that was my first score in my NBA career and of course LeBron James comes right back the very next possession and answers with a mid-range jump shot and receiving the ball. We're down by one, kicking it off to Greg under the basket, and he throws it down with the 180 turnaround jam. Feeding the big man. Why have these beastly bigs on my team and not use them? It just don't make any sense. Five seconds left on the clock to get something done. This possession passing out of my shot. Greg wide open for the mid-range jumper. Go ahead and give Prime Time another dime. Look at that beautiful replay, though. That replay, though. That replay, though. 
Moving on, calling for a screen from Dre. He sets the screen on Dion. I'm wide open for the free throw shot. Slightly late, and I miss. I'm still trying to figure out this jump shot. Look at that terrible shot, man. It was good defense by Sean Marion, but that was also a terrible shot. And I was wide open right there. That was just horrible timing. That's the way to work on D. After that terrible shooting performance by me, yours truly in the first half, it was no surprise that I was on that bench for the rest of the first half. But check out this coaching 101 cutscene though. Too clean. All right, listen up everybody. The second half doesn't have to be as close as the first if we pay attention to a couple of things. First things first, how about the job we've done in the paint offensively? It was men against boys down there. We've had our way with them. Our focus has to be operating as much as possible from the low block. If there was a real positive to be found, it was in transition. We made some really quick, sharp outlet passes and got some easy buckets on the break. That's where they might be most vulnerable. Here's what I want us focused on. Let's get good movement off the ball, constant motion. There are good shots out there for us if we work for them. This game shouldn't be as close as it is. We're the better team. You know it, I know it, and they know it. Now let's get out there and prove it. After what Coach said in that locker room, I felt like I needed to prove myself even more, but I guess he wasn't thinking the same. I guess we wasn't on the same page, me and Coach, man. He sat me on the bench for the rest of the game. I didn't get to prove myself at all in the second half. And I really shot one for five though. My goodness. I will bump up the difficulty real, real soon. Hey. You look like someone stole your lunch money. Dude, might as well. I keep playing like this, man. I'm gonna be 10 days and gone. Have a little perspective. We won the game, man. That's what matters here, okay? I guess. Straight up, you can't expect to adjust to the NBA game in one night. Just keep working, study film, putting the time in the weight room every day. And before you know it, you'll be playing instead of thinking out there, all right? Yeah, tomorrow's another day. Just gotta get back at it, right? You know it. All right, man.